Hello and welcome to the AV Nut. We're nuts about AV. Today we're going to be taking a look at quite an amazing 60s radio. So I just want to mention, well this is the first video that I'm actually writing a script for. So I don't know how good it's going to be, but if I need to, I will go off the script. Okay. So, anyway, um, a little backstory on this video. A couple of days ago, which it was the December the 21st, we were going to a shop in Gedot. When we arrived at the shop, we bought, we bought what we needed, and then we left. And we wanted to go to a pawn shop, but it was closed. So, we said, okay, let's check the other pawn shop down the road. And where, okay, we, when we say one pawn shop, there's two pawn shops there. Now, the one pawn shop there, out of the two, is very nice. Um, they take care of their stuff, they don't buy broken things and so on. That other one, um, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah. Um, it was the place where we bought all my Betamax tapes from. And we're walking to the shop and we saw this thing. It was 4,000 and the guy said, okay, give me 3,000, you can take it. Um, they closed the next day, so I said we'll come back the next day to take it. Um, anyway, that day at least I bought this Leon Schuster tape. But, yeah, then we ended up putting it in our bucky and we drove it over here the next day. And then we put it on our stoop. Okay, we put it on the stoop and as you can see f from the video, actually is quite a nice radio. Now, from you can see, it's got a built-in reel-to-reel with an LP player which also is a changer and a built-in radio which can do AM and FM we'll get to that in a bit it can also do TV, I don't know what this is it says TV, box, I don't know tell me if you know but anyway um. The thing when we bought it was, it was working, everything would light up, I could hear sound coming out of the speakers when I tuned it, I could get radio, it was very soft. Um, anyway, the turntable span up, the reel to reel started to spin, um, so eventually I took the back off. We found this weird stop, I don't know what it's from, I think it's from a typewriter or something. Um, we also found a 7 single case. Weirdly, it was on the reel to reel side and not the record side. But then we found the original paper thing that would go over the record platter. Um, but anyway, yeah, we messed around with it but and found, well, the amplification circuitry is not working. Sound would come out, but it was very, very, very soft. Um, to find this out, we had to take the radio section, which has the amplifier built in, out. And um, it is a transistor system, it's not a tube system. This... Oh, there's a bird. Anyway, but this is... Um, after the days of transistor or tube radios, from what I understand, I don't know when I end exactly, but this is sometime in the 60s. I'll get to that now. Um, probably the caps that have gone, the uh, capacitors that have just one of them has died and they've gone too weak. But I do not, and I'm going to say this now, I do not trust myself to replace them. 
But anyway, we lubricated everything that we needed to switches, put spade some electronic cleaner, cleaned everything out, and it still wouldn't work. Got it to work a bit better, but it still wouldn't work. Now, um, what's it called? The AM tuning also didn't work. And due to this being an analog tuner, the knob that was, uh, the way it works is it's wires. And the wire, if you've seen the inside of an analog tuner, you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, it just was slipping. So, we put it on the own. The, now, there's only one full power station left in Gauteng. That's Alam Radio. We used our hands to tune it from the back and tune it, tune it how we wanted to. Right? We set ours it and everything. So, we put it together. And now, I actually forgot, and yeah, now I remember now, I forgot to mention the date on this thing. Um, here's the production test sticker. It was built in 1964. So, we made a plan. And here is that plan. Now, I just want to mention this thing. When you turn it on, you see all these lights. It really does look like it's going to start asking for deactivation codes once you turn it on. Okay, I hear you do. Don't flip the red switches. Don't flip the red switches. Okay, well, so anyway, um, we got this amp. It was really cheap. Um, it's one of those cheap ones for your car. You, I bought this preamp out, and it doesn't, it doesn't have a use. This thing somehow has a preamp in it, or it works fine enough. It sounds blown out with this preamp, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, when I was taking the back off of it, I saw this stupid stupid amount of screws um it's weird that it took this many to hold them up because as you can see they're just thin pieces of wood but anyway let's count them now as you can see this radio is actually quite well equipped you are able to use FM you can use FAM and you can use this as a TV tuner. So if you want to record your TV shows audio to tape. And the um, reason for that is you would record your top of the pops, you could record top of the pops, or you could record whatever you want. Now, if there was a rock concert on SABC2, plug it in, tune it to SABC2, record it, record when it starts. Um, you wouldn't be able to record the whole thing, because this thing, okay, I'll get to it now, but it hasn't got the longest recording time. But, anyway. So, um, what's it called? It's now, we can take a look at the LP player. You might notice that it is actually a changer. And the changer does still work, but it's quite violent when it drops it. As you will now see. I don't like doing this, but I have to do it for science. I'll do that one more time, just to show you again. I'm not doing it after this. I'm not using this chain. Because, well, you can probably see why. Yeah. I 
don't like that. Well, let's change it. Now, when playing back LPs, I had to adjust the tracking force. So that it would not ruin my records, because I've got quite a couple of nice records. For an example, it was set, or not as an example, it, this is what it was, it was set to play 78s. And it was around 10 grams. I don't have a sh picture or a shot or anything of um, the scale, but it was very heavy. Now this is a full metal tonal, so it's heavy, so it has to basic and it hasn't got a counterweight so it's quite difficult to get it so that it doesn't ruin your records um see here's the thing when the lp system was designed it was made for a tracking force of seven grams maximum and most modern record players um when i say that i mean everything from about the 70s onward and about as a usual tracking force, for, force, yeah, tracking force, um, that has got like a tracking force of about like three to four gram, three, it's not four, three to five grams. But yeah, it's it was really heavy, even the maximum from the 40s is um, lower than the thing that's put out, but um, also. And uh, here's a clip of that. Now, one thing, um, oh sorry, let's take a look at the reel to reel now. I already had a 5 inch reel, it came with a 7 inch reel, had, but the 7 inch reel that it came with had a 5 inch take up spool. Now you're probably wondering how, the, how does that work? Um, so it also came with a 3 inch reel. And what I think happened was, the guy that did the, that uh, saw that the three-inch reel had quite a bit of extra room, and used and because this doesn't have a lead in the, the five-inch, so what he did was, he took the five the seven-inch reel because he only had a five-inch um, lead in, take up spool. Sorry, he just chopped off the end of the seven-inch. Way, and so that it would fit on the 5 inch without um, overflowing it and just pull it onto the 3 inch reel and use that it's a stupid system it does work but it is stupid um, but anyway um, both tapes had Buva music on it now annoyingly the old toppy that recorded it didn't use a direct sound or direct connection from the LP or the radio. He put the mic in front of the speakers while the AM was playing. Okay, maybe AM, maybe LP, maybe FM, but um, he just put the mic in front of the speakers. And I do know it was an old toppy because at one on the three inch reel, at the very end of one of the sides, I'll play it now. The you can hear him and his wife speaking into the mic, like testing it out. But um, this mic is actually a really nice thing. It's fully metal, and um, it's actually really it's able to record really well. So here's a recording that is made with, and but you can hear how good it sounds. Okay, so this is the mic got a nice this is metal by the way this is a nice metal grate that is um yeah it's got holes in it for you to get your 
was too fully metal and I need to turn down that radio because it could get a content match or not a content match but a copyright match um, Jamestown branded one because it's the one I came with the system fully metal two screws holding it together it's made to be held in your hand that's why it's got this weird shape it's got a decently long cable oh yeah good that was my foot yep. the saw now <laughs> yeah that saw because this is metal it weighs a decent amount and then it's got this weird connector at the bottom it's three pins and it's a bell connector so yeah which is weird because the thing on it has got more than three pins so maybe you could have gotten better mics so on so on and so on or maybe you could have gotten one that could turn on and off or well, pause the motor I don't know but yeah there's the mic now I am going to play back some Buva music that was recorded onto the two wheels that came with the machine previously and I am going to play back some audio that I recorded with the microphone in, uh, that comes with the system and onto another wheel but also keep in mind the way I'm recording this is by putting my phone in front of the speaker with the uh, voice recording application open so remember it's not going to be 100% um, I forget the word 100% it's not going to sound exactly how it would sound but still here you go Now that we've heard um, the wheels being played back, let us look at the recording times. Now the 7 inch wheel that it came with can record for 96 minutes in total which is 47 minutes per side. The 5 inch wheel can record for 60 minutes in total which is an hour, it's half an hour side and a 3 inch wheel can record for 23 minutes in total which is about 
11 and a half minutes aside. Um, so the real to real deck on this is running at 3 and what what's inches per second, I forget the exact speed, but that is the speed of the real to real. Now, anyway, now that everything's done, let me show you where I put the amp. This is this is recorded before I put the amp in place, but I know where I'm gonna put it, and here's where it is. So, yeah. Now, well, now that it's taken me about a week to fix this radio, but I'm happy with it. It would be nice if the original tuner could work, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you the operations of it, how you record, how you playback, how it sounds, and yeah, and well, I'm gonna play myself out with the real to real. So this is goodbye for now for me. Um, you're gonna hear me in a second, but this is goodbye on the um, voiceover. So stay safe. Stay home and stay beautiful. So, let me show you how the um, system works and then play it out. So, okay, the magnets on the thing are really strong. It's got two of these magnet things. And they're actually really strong. So, I've got your 7 inch take up spool and this is a 7 inch only water wheel machine so there we go so it's currently on the aux tv input or the type playback there's the aux tv input so let's turn everything on Let me say, none of these do anything. Tape mode still does something, but I like to paste the things. But anyway, as our P player, I always keep this on here. It's an out of focus. Let's keep this on here. It's the original thing, and we've polished it. Nice. Got my gloves on there, but yeah, there's the LP player. Is the model number okay, let's get it without the light number fifty eight thousand two hundred but anyway so here is the I put these here for the records and the tapes here's the amp Need to put it on aux mode, and now we are ready to play back. Let me play you an out a record. Okay, I'm in my pajamas, so that's what you see at the bottom of your screen. Okay, here is the sound data that we're playing. This is a very precious love by the Johnston Brothers. Yeah, Johnston Brothers. So, Here's a speed selector. Forty-five, seven. It goes sixteen, thirty-three, forty-five, and seventy-eight. It's got the flip-over stylus. We're currently on seventy-eight. It can do thirty-three and forty-five. So now we just go like this. Just pop that down.
I like something up like that. And it didn't work. So sometimes the auto placement thing doesn't actually work. Let's try it again without that. Maybe that fix it. I was putting it where an LP would go so that shows how much it doesn't like it. But I do need to make the tracking force a bit harder, but other than that, it works perfectly. Just, there we go. Now for the real to real. So I'm going to stop and then just back that away, and then I'll show you. Now let me show you. Anything played to this amp, by the way, goes on to the input of this. So I'll show you now. You can play a record. You can use the built-in tuner. Let me just pull this up and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that you've placed it in, this is your record. Push it to the side. This shows your record level. So you can sit as, as you would like. Then you've got your chord level knob. You set it as you want. I just put that there because it didn't have anything to indicate it. That turns the thing on and off. You can also use this. And this turns the motor off. It still stays on, but it doesn't turn, as you can see. Now we look back here. We've got fast forward. We've got rewind. I'm gonna leave that fast forward a bit. This, when it's playing back, it's done. Put your mic input. Now I'm going to play back a song. Here's something playback. Now that's already recorded on here, that's when we got it. There's a mode for the amp by the way. Uh, let me get just a bit forward to something. And yeah, that's the workings of this. You can Bluetooth your phone to play the radio or use the built in tune. Here's something played back from USB. That's that, and now I'm gonna play myself out with a song that was already recorded on this. And yeah, so bye bye. This is me signing off, so stay safe, stay home, and stay beautiful.
Stop. 